Indian National Army Trust Act. Let me make the handset silent first. Okay. Okay, the handset to be made silent. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Let it be silent first. Okay, I hope it is silent now. Skonkona, okay. Okay. Very sorry on being late. I'm late by one hour. I'm sorry, half an hour. Today, the subject is question who is the first martyr in our freedom movement before that let us fix our definition of the martyr because any question a specific word need to be defined first because in any question if it is a vague questions it will have many answers naturally and that will suffer from ambiguity. Many ones will give you many answers and will not be properly correct because the question is not proper. Who is the first martyr? It is a big question. Before that you have to fix your definition. What is your definition of the martyr? Martyr Shohid. It has got different meanings, different definitions. Some definitions originally in Christianity. The definition was the man who sacrifices life for religion. For religion. Then there is other definitions like who sacrifices life for a mission, for a great mission, for something great. And this can be he is sacrificing life voluntarily or she is killed by the, he is killed by the enemy forces. He is hanged or in some other, he is killed by the enemy forces. But if, suppose, he is not dead, he is not killed, he is not hanged, or has not died voluntarily, but he has, he has sacrificed his life, lifelong, suffered voluntarily for a mission. Can he be described as a martyr? Yes, there is also some definitions. And you will be, you will know the Vatican had said salvation. In originally their concept was Jesus was crucified, he died, and he said blood. And Jesus, salvation, salvation. But subsequently, when there is tremendous amount of controversy and many facts has come out that on crucifixion, Jesus was not dead. 
and they have redefined that. Now they are defining anyone who has suffered and shed blood. Death is not the precondition yet in this salvation. But before that, death was one of the criteria. Similarly, let us say, suppose someone is asking you a question. Who is the guru of Subhas Chandra? This is a very vague question. In that way, it is not a proper question. This is not a good question. The, you have to ask in which plane the guru. There can be an educational guru of Subhas Chandra. There can be a spiritual guru. There can be a <clears throat> revolutionary guru of his revolution. There can be his, his political guru. And for a person, only a single guru cannot be everything. A person may learn many things from many persons. The question is vague in that way. Okay. Then in our science also, many a time, some vague questions are put. Naturally, that, the, that is the ambiguous questions invites different answers and problems arise there. The questions should be properly coined. What is our definition? Is the person who has sacrificed his life voluntarily or who has given his life in the gallows or who has died in the war front, that should be very clearly defined. Suppose in the Ogni Yug, if you tell the man who is the first man who has sacrificed the life in Ogni Yug for a mission, it is not Khudiram. It is not Khudiram. Khudiram Bose is not the first martyr. Because before that, before that, there was Prafulla Chakraborty. Prafulla Chakraborty was the person after forming a bomb that needed a test. Test was not possible in a crowded area around Calcutta or any town in Bengal. Prafulla Chakraborty and his team went to the Deoghar area in a forest area on a hilltop in isolated the tested bombs. And while testing the bomb, the bone bomb blasted on his hand. He had spot death. And after a few days, and immediately the other friends was not was wounded and some friends who was not wounded all left the place because they had the huge sound. Police may come in fear of that, they left the place. After a few days, after three, four days, they came back to see the dead body of their friend, but they could not find the friend. In that way, Prakula Chakraborty is the first martyr in the Ogni Juk. Ogdijuk started in Bengal in 1915 and triggering of the Ogdijuk is by Aurobindo and Nivedita, Hemgosh, all these persons and every behind every persons there is influence of Shami Vivekananda. And the background was partition of Bengal. That created anger in the minds of the people. And the second martyr is Prafullo Chaki. Prafullo Chaki 
while after <coughs> bomb throwing they thought Prapulochaki and Khudiram has thrown bombs to the king's fort. In Mojapurput, they left the place, but actually this was not the king's fort. Two white ladies, they wounded and dead. Anyway, both Prapulochaki and Khudiram, they left the site of the incident, they left the place. But on <coughs> Their journey, Prapuluchaki, first intercepted by Polish in 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 away from Mojapurpur in a railway station in railway station, and to save himself actually. Now it is not known whether he was killed by the police or he committed suicide. But anyway, Prafullo Chaki, in the end of the April, in that railway station, is the second martyr. And definitely the third martyr is Khudiram Bosch. Khudiram Bosch after trial in Mojapurpur, was arrested in railway station. He was tried and was hanged after six months of the incidents in and that is first May, that, that is the, the date was six May after the incidents that was, I think, 11th, somewhere, 11th August, 1908, 11th August, 19, that is in Mojapurpur, inside the Mojapurpur jail. He was hanged on 11th August. He's a third martyr. But usually, as per our common definition, most accepted definition, the person who was hanged in the gallows, who sacrificed his life for a mission, freedom of Bharat Barsha, the battle against the, the foreign conqueror, British said. Khudiram is regarded as the first martyr in India, not only in Bengal, but all over the country. But truly speaking, the broader definition of martyrdom is accepted. Khudiram is the third martyr in Ogni Yuga. That is, but if the definition is like that, sacrifice of life, life in the gallows, that then Khudram is the first one. But truly speaking, in the broader sense, Khudram is third one and the youngest one. Hmm. And one thing, please remember, Khudiram was hanged in Mojapurpur outside the geographical area of Bengal. But inside Bengal, the first man was hanged, who sacrificed his life for mission in the gallows is Kanailal Dotto. Hmm. And this Kanailal Dotto is that person who killed the approver, the Naran, Naran, Naran Goshai. If this Naran Goshai was a revolutionary, but subsequently became a traitor, became an approver, if he could appear in the court and give his statement, if the statement is recorded, then there was no scope of the release of Aurobindo. To save Aurobindo, Kanailal Dottu killed Naran Goshai, Naran Goshai inside the jail. And Kanailal Dottu is the first martyr who sacrificed life 
who's in gallows in Bengal, in Alipur jail, which is subsequently presidency jail. In that way, the inside Bengal, the first martyr is Kanailal Dalit. Then I am coming to the other areas. trying to see your any question i'll go to the other areas but but please keep in mind i am i have talked only of ogni Ognijug in Bengal. Ognijug is very important. Ognijug of Bengal. The background is the partition of Bengal. Triggered definitely by that background. Nibedita. Aurobindo. Bal Gangadot Tilok. And other persons. The inspiration behind this, Shambi Bivakaranda, and some other very senior persons, like Raj Sekhar Bosu, was the maternal grandfather of Aurobindo, and and he was also one time the tutor of Rubindranath. He lived for a long period in Lubnapur. Is it the and you will be astonished the chemicals to prepare bombs many components has come from the chemistry laboratory of Pishirai of presidency college and there is a direct contribution by the contact of Nibedita and Pishra. And there another character is there, Hem Chandra Kamimbu. He's, he is the son of a family in our West Midnapur. His father died when he was very early, when he was very young age. He showed all his land property, collected man, money, went to France to learn bomb baking and he came back. Him coming with him. He had the sacrifices. Yeah. But if we say we in Bengal have given to this country in our freedom movement the first martyrs it's definitely wrong. Definitely wrong. Before our Ogni Juk, there is in the revolution has started in Maharashtra. Few years back, 1897 forward, Tilak is there a decade back. And in the Western India, remember, the influence of Shami Vivekananda is much earlier. The, the academician Aurobindo turned into a revolutionary when Aurobindo is in the West India. Tilak is already there. The contact of Shamiji with the Tilak is a historic event. And movements of Aurobindo, of, of Shami of Vivekananda, Tokhan, at that time he was Bibishananda, in different princely states, was a headed to the British police. In Nashik area, 
an adjoining area. The revolutionary spirit has arisen one decade before our Upanishad in 1897. Among the younger ones is the Savarkas. When Savarkar was boys, young, that time there was plague. In that plague situations in Western India, particularly Maharashtra, different areas, there was plague law by the British government. What is plague law? Because at that time, the etiology of the plague, treatment of plague was not known. How it transmits was not known. That time, if it is seen, a person is with plague suffering, even if he is allied, he will be buried in the grave. That was the law. Against this law, boys became angry. That started triggering of their revolution. Similarly, one decade after here in Bengal, there was partition which created the background of revolution, which created anger. And there is the plague. In that, three brothers of Chapekar, you remember Chapekar Bhatri Troy, three brothers of the same family. One is Damodar Basudev. Damodar, one is Basudev, one is Bal Krishna. Another is Madhav Ramade. Three brothers of the same family, Chapekar, brothers Triam and Madhav Ranade, they killed one British officer. That British officer is Rand O. West. He was killed. And for that, these three brothers and Madhav Ranade was hanged. In that way, they are the, in our freedom movement in this period, they are the earliest martyrs for history. In that way, Bengal is not a pioneer. Pioneer is Maharashtra. And just after this Ranadage and this Chapekas, there came Savarkars. Savarkar gave a new leap to this revolution, revolutionary. And when the Chapekars and Ranades were not organized, but Savarkars, under the inspiration of Tilok, Tilok is the guru, revolutionary guru of Savarkar. Savarkars and their team, they gave the organized step, a step, a organized steps of the revolution against the British. Please keep in mind, and all these persons, to a large extent, is influenced by Tilak and Shami Vivekananda. One important statement I am quoting in 1901 when Kamakha Mitra met Shami Vivekananda in Bengal. Shamiji advised, what India needs today is bomb. And when Hemchandra Ghosh met Shami Vivekananda in 1901 in Dhaka, he told, a slave nation has no religion. Her only duty is to collect power and throw out the foreigners. And actually Aurobindo came from the west of India. Nivedita had to leave Ramakrishna mission for revolutionary activities. For the revolutionary activity, 
and Ramakrishna's activity cannot go together. Had Nivedita keep the contact with the RKM, the very license of the RKM permission would have been withdrawn. And that was, it would have been a very much trouble for the Ramakrishna mission. And another very important in this period, in the west of India, one Maharashtrian was exiled to Eden Port and was in jail there. He died there in 17 February 1983. 1883. Actually, this Basudev Balabanto Fatki, Basudev Balabanto Fatki is the first martyr before the Japanese. And keep in mind the Eden one time part of British India. Same governor. General in the, from Delhi was ruling the whole range of this geographical area from Burma to Eden. Burma was part of British India, including Eden port. The whole range was under it is India. In 1935, under British India Act, Burma was separated. Eden was separated. Our geographical area sunk in it. First, you have to, these questions are usually asked and we give an answer. First, let us fix our definition and moreover, one thing, if we consider Sipai mutiny. In the textbook, it is written that only for one year there was Sipai mutiny. No. As per the archival documents, now on display in the Red Fort, it is seen that this lasted for up in 62, 1862. From 1857 to 1862, in different remote places, in northeast remote places, much away from Delhi, Calcutta, and also from Calcutta, away from Calcutta, and in remote places in South India. And our in our the it the Sipai meeting is trig first triggered. In Barakpur, Mongol Pande was hanged. In that way, if we recognize Sipai mutiny, the beginning of our freedom movement, then Mongol Pande is the first martyr. Martin in Bengal. And there is still now some controversy among the historians whether they will include Sipai mutiny. as the beginning of our revolution, uh, our, our our freedom movement. Even Professor R. St. Mujumdar do not like to include this in our, uh, accept it as a freedom, uh, beginning of a freedom movement for his given definition. But many revolutionaries, other historians, they accept it as the beginning of a freedom movement. The first history, based on records, archival records, written on the Sipai mutiny, is by Savarkar when he was in England. He entered the archives, he studied, wrote the volume. And that volume was very famous. It was very difficult to publish it. The great, it's a great work. After reading this volume, revolutionary Bhagat Singh called Savarkar 
as Bir Savarkar. And the, this volume was translated to other languages, including South Indian languages, like Malayalam. And it was made a text volume for reading of the INA soldiers by Netaji Shumastra. I'll stop today. I am late. I'll stop today by reading one stanza from the book. Book is, and remember, one in Bengal, Balgohar Tilok introduced. One thing that is Mitromela. You know Mitromela? Mitromela was introduced in Bengal Tilo. It is Mela, it's a fair gathering. Mela is, is open Mela, it's together this of different people, nationalist minded, open open fair, open Mela, Mitromela. This Mitramela is the brainchild of Savarkar in, in Maharashtra under the inspiration of Tilak. Tilak introduced that Mitramela in Bengal. And this the concept of Mitramela is to bring together all persons of all sects, social and religious to a common platform, social platform for exchange of thoughts. Great scholars are invited, all fairs, all commercial businesses, cultural businesses, and scholars are invited to deliver speeches. But orthodox Brahmins of Nasik and Maharashtra did not like it. Because Metromela, in Metromela, all persons Brahman, Khutriya, Vaishya, Shudriya, and other religious, all persons are invited. That was not liked by the Orthodox Brahmins. This volume is written by one of the, I think, in the last 70 years, I think one of the two best volumes from Savarkar is by Bikram Sampat. I am quoting just a few lines from this volume. The orthodox Brahmins of Nasik despised Mitramela as its member ranged from every strata of society. Brahmin, Beniya, Farmar, Maratha, Barbar, Shudra, Kayastoj, and so on. They work and dine together. They work and dine together. This was completely a taboo and an anathema in the deeply casted and Maharashtrian society of that time. Savarkar is a very broad-minded person. Mela is a place of togetherness, bringing together people from all layers of the society. And Mitra Mela in that day it was introduced, brought by Tilak to Bengal. And it was modified, and Mela was also in those early days of our anti-British movement. It was a, it was it was very it made very popular to bring together the people, exchange of thoughts, new ideas. Mr. Mela has got a very important role in our freedom. Anyway, let me stop here today. Martyrs, whenever I ask you, please first fix your definition. In different, from different angles, the answers are different. All are very great. And usually, some teachers ask these questions in different friends, schools, colleges, and universities. The teachers themselves not doing what they are asking. 
that is the problem. Let me stop here today. Before that, let me see if any question is there. Shoikot? Shoikot, what you are telling? Madhulal Thingra, much well. In the 20th century, Dhingra is much later. Sacrificed in the, in, the, in the soil of England, that needs a much bigger courage. Dhingra, yes. Let us salute to him. Shahana Agamikal Mohanayak Sraspiri Bushu. I had an idea, Shoikot. But possibly I will be away tomorrow. From a handset, if possible, I will do it. Or I will do it very late hours. Maybe after 11. Not before 11, I will get the time. I will try Shoikot. Thank you for reminding me. Shipai mutiny cannot be the first freedom movement as it was armed, aimed at reinstating Mughal rule and other kingdoms. It was not aimed at full Swaraj. Uh, that is that that was the argument of Professor R. C. Mujumdar. But at the same time, keep in mind there are the many forces, not all one type of that is one type of to get freedom from liberation from the British domain. If you accept that angle, it will also to some extent the freedom movement. Let me stop here. Thank you.